Morning guys, this is the first day of um, the mountains. We're going koi hunting today. It's pretty brisk. Not too bad though, there's no snow down on the, um, in the roads in Nagoka where we stay. This is right outside the hotel now, which we stay in the new, new Otani hotel in Nagoka. Um, the mountains, well, the first pretty much koi breeder is about 20 minutes away from here, 15, 20 minutes. So we'll make our way up now. Um, and hopefully there's not gonna be much snow about which is great for this time of year. Usually you can get snow falling meters in a night and it is the most craziest thing. The roads are always kept clear though, amazingly. Not like it is back in the UK for certain. But the um, but yeah, so we're gonna make our way up now, probably visit a few breeders on the first day, just to sort of like get our bearings, find out what the guys that are with me want. Um, there's four of us in total here this trip. We've got two from America, one from Ireland and myself. So we're gonna, head up have a quick look round just get a bit of a, an idea about what's there a few small breeders we want to go now check out the toes I mainly that's what we're here for this trip so I'll try and get a few breeders in on the videos today and let you have a look um, especially the fish that we hopefully will be picking over the next couple of days uh, so hopefully yeah just stay tuned we're gonna see what we can find first stop of the day guys we're at Marihiro Koi Farm um, this has probably been, probably been going here now about four years. Um, and he has a full range of fish. Um, where I'm stood now is in the middle of the koi house. So if you just have a look behind. You see the ponds at the back. We'll have a closer look in a second. Um, but they range from everywhere. You know, there's the, some fantastic koi here. Um, really, good for, really good for bringing back to the UK. Um, a lot of people do buy fish from here, as you probably already know. Um, but it is lovely. So what uh, most farms, what they tend to do is that they'll have a cheaper end down at one side and then as it, as it moves up, they get a lot more expensive. So at this farm, you've got the full range. So when you've got the variety as well, which is incredible, you've got everything you can think of really. So, you know, it, it's easy to find that koi that you're looking for. Um, with the budget it, it, it really is good um, and that's what he is here for he's not he's not per se a high class koi breeder but he has many high class fish but he just sells in bulk um, so a lot of the wholesale companies buy from here and everything like that because the, the fish are great you know they really are so what I'll do is I'll take you up to the where all the special fish are um, but let me just turn the camera around and I'll give you a little bit of a, a walk These fish we're looking at now go up to about 70 centimetres from about 55 to 70 cm. So that gives you a little bit of a, a rough guide to the sizes. These fish in this pond range from sort of like 60 cm up to a meter. So these are his very best fish and they're probably some of the best koi in the area for the variety. You can get pretty much anything you want. Um, even the, he, he does specialize in more of the weird and wonderful stuff, but he really has some fantastic fish in here. You know, you can see Tancho Showers, Tancho Sankey, Shisui's, and he's got a lot of perfect examples and perfect examples come at a cost and some of the fishing here are very expensive. You see the shisui, let me try and zoom in. That fish is easily 90 cm. So that gives you an idea of the size of these koi. There's a hiatsuri there, which is just unbelievable. But this is, it's a very famous pond for people taking pictures as well. As you can see, you'll have probably seen this. 
a lot of the koi in this pond he probably also sold to customers who are leaving them here to grow. The Akamats over there. Some amazing koi. Okay guys, um, so the last stop was Marihiro, which is the younger brother of where we are now. We're in Marase Koi Farm, which is the older house. We're going to the newer house as well. So this is probably one of the biggest farms in this area, it's huge. And again, the selection is massive. The varieties are massive, the sizes, any size you want from pretty much 30 cm at the moment, all the way up to a meter, no problem. Um, he has all sorts of variety, too many to list. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just, um, I'll have a walk down and show you some of the koi here. They really are some excellent varieties and excellent examples of the varieties as well. So with this brother being the elder brother, the younger brother Marihiro, he had to go and set up on his own when um, this brother took over the farm. So, and that's what, that's what the Marihiro Koi farm was before, and he's doing very well there as well. So it was a good move for him. Um, he's still very close with his brother and they still do things together. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great place. It's a great place for us to find good stock for the shop. Some lovely fish here. Um, people say it's a, the, it's, they say it's a cheap place, but it really isn't. You know, you've got the full range of stuff. You've got cheap fish here, they are. But then you've also got tens of thousands of pound fish, which are worth every penny. Um, but the varieties that he's got are fantastic. And also the, the, the examples of that variety. But let me show you anyway. In this pond we're looking at now, they're probably from 55 cm's up to about 75. Same there. But this goes all the way down. It's a massive place. Let's walk down the boards. The boards of death. Now it doesn't look like it, but some of the koi in this pond are 80, 85, some of them. Probably the same in there. Smallish around about 70. This guy must produce more koi than anybody else in the area. The stock here, 365 days a year, and the shipping out pretty much 52 weeks of the year, but always shipping out. I mean, it's not unusual for Marase to be shipping a thousand boxes a week with ease. See the nets there that are in the pond that's people who've come in and picked the fish and they just put them in their own nets and then put the names on them <laughs> I don't want to get raw fam on there, I'm not giving him free shout outs. Right, we're at the next farm now, getting snowballed. Yeah, this is Miyatora Koi Farm. Um, we've been buying some stuff now for the last few years from this guy. Um, there was a bit of a break between 
when we last bought, but the last few years he's had some stunning fish, which we've brought, like kinky Utsuri, stuff like that. Makashi, really good. So he's got three houses here. This house that we're in now does the, the, the Nisai, Sansai, a few different varieties. He's not got much in at the moment in this house, um, but I'll give you a quick look round anyway, and then we'll move into the other houses. You know, basically they just have retail facilities like any dealer in the UK or in, the, in America you know you walk in you look at the fish you bowl a few up you ask the price if you like them you buy them if you don't you put them back and go somewhere else it's it, you know that's how easy it is so the um, yeah there's some lovely fish here what we'll do is I'll just go into the next house now where the bigger fish are I'll show you the um, snow as well outside <laughs> These are all the bigger stuff. Sansai upwards. Some beautiful koi in this pond, maybe already sold for customers that are growing out. Nice Deutsch shower, some beautiful kahaki. These in here, I suspect are his parent koi. These will be the females for that sanki. All in super condition. These are probably the males. Yeah, he does keep his fish in excellent condition. To get big jumbo fish swarming like this, I mean, they really are in super condition. So every breeder, they have a Tozai house, which are all the babies. Um, Miyatori is no different. Let's go there. Please excuse the children. Beautiful toes eye, really good. Condition excellent. A lot of these might not be for sale now. These are the fish that he's probably gonna keep, especially in this number one pond. They are so nice. I wish we could buy them, but I doubt that they will be for sale. They'll be what he's gonna keep and put into the mud ponds. Um, but already looking at those, I'm quite excited for October because we'll see some of those when they come out now. Those fish in there now are probably about 20 cm. When they come out in October, they'll probably be between 50 and 55 cm. Huge things. But there's some exciting varieties in there which we're definitely going to look at.
So that's Mia Tora, a great breeder. Keeps his fish in excellent condition. Some great variety. On to the next. Right guys, the next one is um, one of our favorite koi houses really. Um, this is Yagenji Koi Farm. Um, we've come up to the house today to have a look at um, some tozai that they have in. Um, the mainly the, the koi in here now, the, there's, there's only tozai that are in here for sale. Everything else, which I'll show you now, are the parent koi. Um, it's always a lovely clean facility this, and the fish are always in good condition. So let me flip it round and I will show you the tozai. These are the parents. And both those ponds there are parents as well. Have we'll a closer look. Go up in sizes. Pretty quiet in here. Make a video. Oh, I'm doing it. What? I'm making one now. You're interrupting me. No, I know. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. So these ones here are 18 to 20 cm and then the first ones that we saw were 10 to 12 cm so good size these are a great size some of these will definitely be coming back to the shop just give you a quick view outside here genji many people have seen it but they're saying there's not much snow up here at the moment, but it's quite thick. So behind me there, that's the new Koi house that was just built. And then behind me, there's one of the nicest views. So that's it guys, that's your Genji.